Hello, good day. So, welcome to another video lecture on SQL uh, session. So, for this day, we will be talking about SQL order by keyword. So, this will be our first topic and then I'll be doing also the insert into. Okay? So, again, if you have your internet with you and your laptop, you can go to W3 Schools and access the learning materials that I'm using right now. So, let's start. Okay, to begin with, the order by SQL is a keyword that is used to sort the result set either in ascending order or descending order. So, ang ibig sabihin ng ascending is that you arrange the data generated from your database from uh, in a manner of 0 to 10 or uh, A to Z. Okay, sa descending naman, it's the other way around. So, you sort or arrange your records or data from 10 to 0 or z to a okay so the order the order by keyword sorts the records in ascending order by default so if you will not put anything like for example you will uh, create a query or an sql query that will generate a result automatically kahit hindi ka maglagay ng ascending is it will uh, sort it accordingly sa ascending order okay so to sort the records in descending, we need to declare it in as, uh, using the word desc or des. Okay. So this will be the syntax for SQL order, either ascending or descending. So the first one is that you need to select uh, the columns that you would want to present, and of course indicate the name of the table, and you also need to indicate the column in which which uh, which will be used as reference, whether whether it be it's ascending or descending so uh, when you use order by you need to specify kung ano yung columns na pagbabasihan ng pagsusort like for example if you would want to sort your records by or according to customer name then you should put customer name on this area okay so let's try or let's have an example so for this one we are to sort the customers according to the country so it would mean uh, by default, wala tayong nilagay dito na ascending or descending, but automatically, what it will present is an ascending order of uh, customers based on its country. Okay? So, try natin. Okay. So, this is the, uh, what do you call this one? The page wherein you can run your SQL query. So, if I will click this one, if you notice, the customer ID is no longer, or it, it, will, uh, it doesn't start with one, because it's already sorted uh, in ascending order. Yung pinagbasihan niya kung ano yung ascending order is yung country. So if you notice, Argentina comes first, and then you have Austria, and then Belgium. So if you will uh, ask me like, Sir, uh, what if, uh, just like this one, uh, they have the same country, okay? So by default, on uh, in this, uh, what do you call this one? In this example, yung pagbabasihan niya is automatically the ID number. So, for example, si country, uh, this record, si Cactus Comidas para Levar, is from Argentina, and then he has a customer ID 12, followed by Osa Oceano Atlantico LTDA. Uh, he's also from Argentina, but then if you notice, uh, his ID number is 54. So, 12 is less than or a smaller number compared to 54 that's why siya yung nauna okay so that that's another default also okay so that's an example now let's go to another one we have it here uh, this one is already indicating na the order or the arrangement of the record is in descending order so let's try okay so you have it here According to this example, you are to sort or we are to sort uh, the customers according to country but then it's in a descending order. So, since yung table natin or yung column natin na country is in text base or string, it would mean nga it will uh, arrange the records from Z to A. Okay? Z to A. So, try natin i-run. Okay. If kanina, yung nag... Uh, yung Yung nauna is Argentina. Right now, the first on the list is Venezuela. Diba? Let's, it's letter V. So, 
uh, we did not uh, since <coughs> we have indicated that it's descending order so V up until to Argentina Ayan, you have Austria and Argentina okay so again pag, es pag ascending yung lalabas is uh, A to Z and then pag descending naman it's Z to A okay so please take note na yung syntax niya or if you will try to uh, uh, analyze it pag ascending ang ilalagay mo dito is ASC pag descending naman is DESC okay can you take note of that now we have here a scenario like for example uh, sir are we allowed to sort records based on multiple columns so you have it here so based on explanation you have the following SQL statement selects all customers ito daw selects all customers from customer table and then sorts it according to country and customer name this means that the order by con uh, this means that it will sort or arrange the records according to country but then if there will there will be records wherein there uh, they have the same country yung pagbabasehan niya next will be the customer name okay so let's explain it again according daw to this uh, query is that it will display all of the customer's rec record and then sorts it by country okay if in the event na pareha sila ng country yung pagbabasehan niya next is customer name okay so based on this demonstration walang nilagay whether ascending or descending so by default yung lalabas is an ascending order okay try natin so ascending order it means na A to Z okay so if I will run this one yung mangyayari is that it will sort all of the records ayan based on the country so na nangunguna si Argentina followed by Austria and then Belgium and then so on and so forth so a while ago just like what I have given a while ago yung example natin or yung by default natin kanina is customer ID but with this kind of example we have indicated na if pareha sila ng country yung pagbabasehan daw is yung customer name so you have it here Argentina and then yung customer name niya is cactus ayan ito yung nauna it's because c comes first uh, before o okay that's why you have argentina cactus and then argentina oceano okay so i hope that's clear on your end so dito walang nilagay whether ascending or descending so just like what i have mentioned a while ago by default yung uh, yung order nito is uh, ascending okay now let's go to the next one this one is another example pero yung order naman niya is in descending order or descending manner try natin <coughs> okay you have it here according dito ayan it, this is quite complicated <coughs> according dito select daw all of the customer records and then we need to sort them according to country but then in ascending order okay now if there will be a uh, if there will be scenarios wherein there will be duplicate or same countries automatically yung pagbabasehan niya is customer name but then you need to arrange the, the customer name in descending order so it's quite a challenge so let's try let's try to run this one okay <clears throat> if you notice ayan di ba kanina Argentina is still the first one but then yung customer name na is not it's no longer cactus it's now rancho okay bakit si rancho it's because of this particular code or script okay so dahil we declare na if ever there will be there will be uh, records with the same country uh, automatically or by by its demonstration or by its instruction yung pagbabasehan ng sorting is a customer name pero kinakailangan na naka descending order siya so descending order it means na from Z to letter A. That's why yung nauna ngayon is si Rancho, hindi na si Cactus Kumidas. Okay? So if you have questions regarding order by, you can just comment it below and then I'll try to answer it. Okay? Very good. Now let's go to the next one, which is insert into. So insert into is actually part of uh, one of the major operations in SQL. Ito yung 
uh, la maglalagay ka na ng record sa database. So, from 91, you can add more on it. Okay? So, you have it here. The SQL insert into statement is used to insert new records or add new records in the table. It is possible to write the insert into statement in two ways. The first one is that you specify the column names. And then, the second one is that you no longer specify the column names provided that the values will, that will be inserted will be the same number sa columns declared in your table. So, for example, if in your table you have 8 columns, kinakailangan din, if this will be the scenario, kinakailangan din na 8 values din yung uh, mailalabas. Okay? Uh, not mailalabas pala, kundi ma-insert, by the way, sorry. Okay, so yung, yung syntax niya is that you have insert into and then you indicate the table name and then the first strategy is that you indicate the columns that you would want nga merong ilalagay. So column 1, column 2, column 3. Okay, and then you have values and then you insert or you declare that yun the values. So kung ilan, yung ilalagay mo di, ay, kung ilan yung ilalagay dito, it should be the same also dito. Okay, para hindi mag-error. Okay. Dito naman is that we did not indicate the column but we need to make sure na yung values na na declare natin is for example or yung attributes na declare natin is for example 8. So kinakailangan na you have 8 values also in here. Okay? So it should be uh, magkaparehas. Okay? Now let's try to do some demonstration. Ayan. So... Let me explain first. So this one is an example of uh, inserting a new record while declaring kung saang record siya ilalagay or saang column siya ilalagay. So for this example, the custom, uh, the user would want to insert new records in the customer table, particularly doon sa customer name, sa contact name, sa address, sa city, sa postal code, tsaka sa country. So if you notice, wala tayong nilagay na uh, school ID or ID number diba? Ay, school ID sorry it's customer ID ayan so if you will try this one ayan so take note na yung records natin is 91 records ah. so if I will run this one ayan you have made changes to the database rows affected is 1 so how do you check that one so to check that one what you need to do is just select just type select all from uh, customer. And customers pala, sorry. Customers. If I will run this one, if you notice from 91, naging 92 na siya. Okay? Yan. So let's try to look kung nasaan yun. Okay. 92. Ayan. Ito yung na-add natin. Sir, bakit may 92? Eh, we did not declare man. So by default, C92 is an auto increment, okay? When this table was created, it's naka auto increment. So automatically if my bagong record is yung yung number niya will be the next number after the previous record. So the last record is 91. Ibig sabihin yung record na nilagay natin will then have an ID of 92. Okay? Yan. The next one ito, you have it here. Inserting data in specified columns. Kung kanina, uh, we occupied all of the columns, like yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ngayon naman, we will just uh, insert uh, records on specific columns. So, for example, dito, you have it here, uh, insert daw a new record into the customer's table, particularly only sa customer name, sa city, and then the country. And then these are the values to be inserted. Cardinal, Stavanger, and then Norway. So we have here some, what they call this one, warning. Ayan. The following SQL statement will insert a new record, but only insert data in the customer name, the city, and the country. So customer ID will be updated automatically since it's auto-increment. So try natin. Okay. So a while ago, we have inserted one record. That's why in this area, naging 92 na ito. So let's now try this one. Ayan. You have made changes to the database. Rows affected is 1. So paano natin i-check whether 
pumasok ba yung bagong record o hindi we need to delete this one and then type select all from customers okay run natin ayan if you notice it's no longer 92 it's now 93 so try natin i-check sa ibaba okay yung last record natin is 92 diba you have cardinal uh this one and then stavanger and then norway so ngayon naman we inserted cardinal but then we did not indicate man anything on this particular column that's why it's null or wala siyang laman same goes with this part wala siyang laman but then we indicated i think this one is city diba and then we did not indicate any postal id or code and then we also indicated na yung country is norway so if you notice merong tatlong columns na walang laman okay so that's how you do uh, insert and order by if you have any other questions you can just send me a message or comment it down below thank you for joining me today